Welcome back to Gale Bears Repairs. Today, we're going to be changing the air filter on this 2012 Citroen C3 Picasso. Uh, this is part three of a service series. Right, let's get on with it. To remove the air filter on this 2012 Citroen C3 Picasso, it's got the 1.6 HDI engine fitted. It's a very basic task. First, you've got to pull off your dongers, your little rubber dongers, pull them off there and there. Just grab them and pull them off. And you slide out the insulation blanket like that. And then this reveals three Torx bits. One there, one there, one there. And a spring clip here, which you just flick off. So it's a very basic thing. Flick off that spring clip undo these three Torx bits. I think they're either T20 or T25, and then you can slide the lid out. Right, so there's a clip there, a little metal spring clip. You just gotta flick him off. There he, there he goes, you just pull him out to the side of the car. So that's the first job. The next is these three Torx bits. They're just T25s, just a T25 bit. There we go, nothing special. T25 self-tapping screw. So now what we do, get the lid, we lift it, and we just pull it out towards us. It's that basic. It locates on those two tangs. I'll show you that in a minute. I'll get a better camera angle. Well, I've got a better angle. If you see there, those two tangs there, they locate in the two receptacles at the back there. So it's pretty basic in into the hose. So we can take out our uh, old filter now. Oh, look at the leaves in there. That is nasty. I only bought this car 12 months ago and it was supposed to have had a service. So I'm not sure uh, whether it had that or not. Right, so we just want to compare the two filters now. Here's the filter I'm using. It's a Bosch one for a 2012 1.6 HDI. Citroen C3 Picasso. What a mouthful, wasn't it? <laughs> right, so here's my new filter. Here's my old one. We compare, they are the same. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's 12 months worth of running. I've only done five, 6,000 miles this year. I don't think that was changed on the service. I've only had Right, so it's had a quick vac in there. Made sure all the large parts of debris are out, the leaves and such. Um, something that's easy to forget, there's a little drain hole there. Just make sure that he's clear. And there you go, so he's nice and clear. So now we can fit in our new filter. So we get the filter. And this has got to go inside of there. This foam. It's got to go inside of this black area, this little lip. So that retains it in place all the way around. And then this like floppy bit here, make sure it's in, in its little recess all the way around. The air comes in through, it comes up through underneath passes through this filter, comes out the top of this filter here, and then around and in. That's your main intake into the engine, into the turbo. So uh, make sure that this is seated. We don't want any, any air being dragged in in this section because it'll allow particulates into the engine. So it's got to pass through that filter. So make sure this seal is in. I'm waffling a bit, and I? Right, so we'll put the lid back on. That's what I showed earlier. 
those two tangs there, those go into the two receptacles down the bottom. So the last minute check, make sure that that seal is in and then we feed it in, angled towards the back. We want to feel them locate. There we go, I felt them drop in. And then we pivot it down and there's a location thing there. There's a slot there, look, and a peg there. So we're going to do a bit of pegging. And there's the same there as well. So we just want them to line up. And there we go. We can clip this side one in now, this little spring clip. So you just push him towards that side of the car. Up over the top of the house in there. So he's in place. So that's this end clamped down. Now we just put the three torx bits back in. So we'll just give these a light pinch. All three of them will just go along. Just a light nip up. There we go. So now we'll go back and just give them a little nip up. Don't go, don't get too carried away with these. It's only going into a plastic housing, you'll just strip it. So just a little nip. There we go. That's it. That's the air filter replaced. Now that we've finished refitting the air filter, I'll just show you there. Here's the sockets there for the uh, insulation blanket to go on. And they press down onto these balls here. So you've got to slide them in up there. And then you just locate them with that ball and push. And the same there. And that's it, it's retained in place. That's the air filter replaced on this 2012 Citroen C3 Picasso. Very straightforward job, as you can see. Just make sure you get the debris and the leaves out. And there's not a chance that that uh, air filter was replaced 12 months ago. Not a chance in hell with the mileage that I do. So uh, someone didn't do that last time. Um, this is part three of the service. Part four I'll get to appear here now. That's for the pollen filter on the same car. So if you click the link here, uh, it should take you to that. If you found it useful and it's been informative today, could you please like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you next time.